Hello and welcome back. It's only been over a year since my last video. Um, sorry about that. It's just the way it is. I haven't got around to making one. Um, and, you know, I would love to make more, uh, but it's just difficult when you've got other commitments. So um, I will try to rectify that and, and make sure I don't leave it for another year. Um, so today I'm going to talk about a hair removal product that I'm very familiar with because I've been using this type of product for years and I've seen how it's changed so um, and I'm not afraid of it it is an epilator and the one I've got in my hand is by Braun it's a silk epil 7 uh, which is the latest model on the market from them and uh, it comes in this box like this with various parts um, it's actually called skin spa epilation and sonic exfoliation system and let me tell you the clue is in that big name because you know you know why it's so different to previous epilators from Braun and possibly others on the market I do apologize by the way if you hear a noise in the background that will probably be the annoying train I live near a railway line and I can't control the, the trains rushing by uh, on a Saturday night. As I said, I'm very familiar with epilators and Braun in particular, I have been using theirs for a long time and um, and I've seen how they have uh, changed over the years and what I like about Braun is that every time they bring out a new model they'll make sure it's bigger and better than the one before um, and I was very excited from when their last model came out I believe that was the first wet and dry epilator meaning that you could actually use it in the shower and at the bar and in the bath um, as well as dry um, and using it in those conditions would make the actual experience less painful uh, and more comfortable and um, I think that is true because when you're when your skin's wet and you know when it's moist your pores are open and it hurts less to pull out the hairs just like you know when you pluck your eyebrows it's best to do it after a shower because your pores are open so they've obviously adapted that rule to this um, device um, so if you're not familiar with how an epilator works it looks like an electric uh, lady shaver um, except rather than shaving its hairs it plucks them out at a great speed and it will pluck out even the tiniest shortest hairs um, according to Braun that is uh, 0.5 millimeters which is like a grain of sand um, so it can do what waxing can't and it will give you longer lasting results than shaving um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, and the great thing about these now is that they are cordless. They have been cordless for a year, for years. Um, you charge it up. I think this one will probably run 40 minutes um, on, you know, fully charged. And then you can plug it in and you can use it through the mains as well. Um, and uh, it comes with various parts, uh, which all slot um, into the actual um, handheld device in, depending on what you want to use it for um, so as you can see that's the main body and then this is the actual epilator part I've stuck it in and then when I switch it on it comes with two speeds by the way and depending on um, how you like it <laughs> and there's also a little light as well to um, to help you see the hairs so that's kind of yeah okay <laughs> that's how it works um there are other parts as i mentioned they've actually included a shave shaving head with a foil thing on it uh, which i don't actually bother with because if i want to shave i much prefer using a wet shave razor blade than these i don't think these are very they don't produce neat results i have used um, this in the past and, and I haven't been impressed with it so I don't personally bother with it and I, I mean honestly I, I don't know what I meant to do with this bit I mean what's it for is it in case you know you want to shear your lamb or something because who has hair that big and thick that will just get <sighs> anyway I'm not gonna bother with that but other parts that come for the epilator are these two heads which um, can be used you basically have to take the top part of this epilator off first and then you've got to put 
the other heads on depending on what you want to use it for. Um, and they've got two heads here. One is for you know sensitive areas. Um, I assume that means like your bikini or your underarms. And the other one, which is slightly smaller, is for facial hair. Um, and you're probably wondering why do you need to put these heads on it because they're going to pull the hairs out like you know like it would normally would if you're using it on your legs. But I guess it's because there's only a very small space a very small opening there and that helps to kind of control the epilator if you had the full head visible I think it would hurt like hell um, so I um, I only use the epilator on my legs um, because that's where I need it uh, well that's where I'm happy using it um, I've had my underarms done with laser so I don't need to use epilators there uh, in the past I did and I did find it extremely extremely painful but I've spoken to some girls and they use an epilator on their underarms without any problems um, but as I said I've had lasers so I'm not going to um, start using an epilator there otherwise the hairs will grow back um, so I can't comment on that part I also can't comment on something like the bikini area because I leave that to a professional so yes I only use it on my legs and um, I do prefer using it after I've been in the shower or if I'm in the bath because it, it hurts less, definitely. And you know, I can take my pain, but I think it's, you know, given the choice, I'd rather not have to endure all that. So uh, I do prefer to use it uh, in the bath and I would recommend it for people who are thinking of trying an epilator but are too scared then you really need to go for something like this because it will let you use it in the bath or the shower and then depending on how brave you're feeling maybe you can move on to dry anyway <laughs> that's how it um, that's how it works so it's no different to the previous model that I've used from Braun so you know it's what's it going to do that's going to be any different to the previous model nothing the previous model had light too it had two speeds and I'm happy with that um, so um, but the only the difference with this model is it comes with an extra part, uh, which is da, 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 da. oops, it is a brush, a brush that looks spookily like a Clarisonic, um, and that's this is where it. Sorry, I'm fiddling here. I'm trying to put it on. That's basically the difference with this model is because it's got a brush head that you can uh, swap your epilator. Four, and this is what it looks like. I'm just taking it apart and I'm going to put it back on again. This is what it is. That's simple as that. That's all you get with this model is you get a brush head, which you can. I'll just turn it on. Ooh. That's all it is really. <laughs> um, and the idea is that you only use it on your body. You can't use it on your face. Um, because the the bristles are quite, I guess they're quite rough. They're not used. They're not recommended. They're not designed for the face. Um, so you just, you know, put your favourite shower gel on and away you go. And you so the point of the uh, brush is that it's just to exfoliate your skin and remove the dead skin, uh, rather like a Clarisonic Plus, which I've never used, so I can't comment on how it compares. Uh, but I'm just guessing this is like it because it's just for the body only um, and I think it's probably better to use it first and then uh, epilate because the exfoliation hopefully you know bring up any ingrowing hairs or just remove the skin the dead skin so you can like epilate properly afterwards um, that's all there is really it's it's easy peasy to use um, I'm not sure how uh, committed I would be to using this because um, it does take a while, um, although although it's rotating very fast, I just sometimes can't be bothered with that, and I just use a you know an exfoliating mitt or um, or just like a body scrub in the shower. So, but I suppose if you know if you've got a few hours and you're in the bath and you've got the candles burning and you just want to relax and you you've got all the time in the world to exfoliate and then epilate if you don't have a wet and dry epilator then I suggest you get it because it will change your life well it will it will certainly make the experience of epilating a lot bearable um, 
I should say it's not recommended for everybody so if you're pregnant, diabetic or you've got varicose veins you're not meant to use this um, and if you've never used an epilator before then you know approach, approach with caution uh, you may uh, experience a bit of a reaction to it I know I used to when I first started using epilators I would um, you know I'd use it and then after a few hours I'd get lots of bumps on my leg and then it would you know die it would go down after a few hours but that was just the initial reaction to using it but I'm used to it now and it never happens doesn't happen anymore um, I like what Helen said about Helen is my blogging partner I love what Helen said about using an epilator she said she looked like a plucked chicken um, <laughs> so um, oh hang on a minute there's a train there <sighs> anyway um, so yeah I like it, I think um, it's it's lovely to, it's easy to hold, they, you know, it's very ergonomic, really really good for that thing and uh, it does its job amazingly, it does pull out all the smallest hairs, it's really really good and you don't have to keep going over the same area several times, I pretty much I think maybe once or twice it will pull out all the hairs, so you know, it's a superior epilator, I will say that. Um, it just comes with a brush and I'm not sure I personally would use the brush all the time um, and uh, I don't use the, f the shaving head at all I'm not keen on that personally um, but you know it depends it, it should um, it is designed to remove hair from all over the body so depending on uh, what you want to use it for. I think it's perfect for legs if you are feeling a lot brave and you want to use it on your bikini area or your underarms then you know well go for it. <laughs> anyway that's my video. I hope I've made some sense and um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I wish I had an auto cue <laughs> but uh, I've had to completely improvise as all of you do. Um, so hopefully I may make another one soon, and uh, if not, I do apologise for this one. Uh, oh God, stupid! Another train for crying out loud! Um, I'm sorry if this was boring, uh, but you know, hey, that's just me. Bye.